Welcome back to Lost Odyssey. In the last episode, we explored more of Ura, or Ura, however you pronounce this place. And then we got the first thousand years of dreams. We can now unlock more of those. I believe there's one we can unlock in the residential district. Did you sleep well? No messages for you yet, I'm afraid. We hold any messages that come for you here, so please don't hesitate to take a stroll outside. I'm sure you'd like to forget the horrors of the battlefield. Oh, by the way, feel free to use any of the items you find here. They're compliments of the house. I already did. I already got the items in the last episode. Right, well, let's head outside. Now, let's see if there is a dream that we can unlock over here. I think there was one in the residential district, I think. Is it right here? Yeah, it's right here, yep. I remember this. So this is the one... So, when I did a walkthrough of this game back in 2022, um, I read, I read this dream here. I read the whole thing. And it literally took the whole episode, pretty much. So I will not be reading, like I said in the last episode, I'm not reading the dreams. Because they take way too long. Uh, so I just don't want the whole episode to be, the whole episode to be me reading dreams, you know. Um, but I'm going to leave it on the screen. And you can pause the video if you want to read them. Um, I just don't want it to take, it would take forever to read them, so. And yeah, if you didn't see episode one of this playthrough, I've done three playthroughs of this game, and I know, haven't, was never able to beat the game because of unforeseen circumstances that I'm not going to mention in this video, but in the play th walkthrough in 2022, I had to quit because of... Um, I did a factory reset on my PC and I had transferred my save file because I was playing on emulator at the time and I had transferred my save file to my hard drive but then when I did the factory reset on my PC I tried to get my save file back from my hard drive and it was gone. I couldn't find the save file. So I had to quit that playthrough back in 2022. As for the other two times I played this game, I'm not going to mention those. If you want to know, uh, you can check out episode 1. But I just wanted to bring up, since I already mentioned the walkthrough earlier, I wanted to mention why I quit doing that walkthrough. It wasn't because I wanted to. I wanted to beat the game, but I lost my save file. What can I do, you know? So, now I'm doing a playthrough again in 2024. So, there you go. I just wanted to bring that up in case you, anybody, in case you didn't see part episode one. I just didn't want to confuse anybody as to why I'm playing this game again. Because typically I don't do playthroughs again, you know, unless... Under certain certain seconds, under cer certain circumstances, I will play a game again if like my old videos are like bad quality. But my playthrough back in 2022 was pretty good quality, so there was no need to play th through it again, unless I had to, which I did have to because I lost my save file. So, but uh, I was looking forward to beating it back then, but. It didn't happen. So this is about uh, coming a ta tavern master, I guess. Um, but you could tell these dreams are very long. These stories are very long.
But yeah, these are basically memories of that Kaim had forgotten. That's why you saw I walked past I walked next to those the little girl or little little kid and the kid's parents and it triggered this memory. Cause Kaim obviously he's immortal, he's lived a thousand years, he forgets he obviously forgot a lot of things that happened in his life. And Uh, that's why he needs to be, he needs to have triggers for his memory to remember a lot of this stuff. So it actually, it actually makes sense story wise. Oh, earthquake happened. Oh, that sucks. Kime's house collapsed. Yeah, so... That's not good. But obviously he survived because he's immortal. And we saw a flashback in the last episode, or um, a dream in the last episode, that this little girl falling off a cliff. Uh, we don't know who the little girl is yet. But it should be kind of obvious. But, uh... We'll have to find out who it is later. But as you can tell, these dreams, like I said, are very long. They're pretty interesting though. I think Hironobu Sakaguchi has a very creative imagination. Like, I don't think I'd be able to come up with these storylines, you know? It's crazy how he came up with them. And it just all blends together very nicely with the whole immortal... With the whole immortal thing, you know? Like, of course you're immortal... You live a thousand years, you're going to have a ton of memories, you know. So. It was nice that he put these in the game. I believe there's another dream we can get in the tavern, I believe, as well. If I remember correctly. Okay, cutscene time. Oh, sorry. Oh, look out. Sorry, miss. Messenger for Lord Gangora. <laughs> At your service. Man, what an attitude. Jeez whiz. Uh. What do you expect, Jansen? You just i to follow somebody, of course they're going to get suspicious. It's freaking weird, man. You don't follow people. It's 
creepy. Alright, let's go to the tavern here. And there should be another dream we can get. I'm pretty sure. Yep, here we go, right here. Goes from the battlefield too, aren't you? Guess we both owe someone upstairs big time, huh? Kinda feel like a heel. Thinking about all my dead buddies. But have, but having another chance to see your family, well that's a great feeling, yeah? I didn't think I'd actually make it out of this alive. After all, I have no idea what I'm going to do when it's time to knock on my family's front door. Another dream. Dream on. A hero's return. And by the way, we have all the seeds up to this point in the game, so... So, if you've been following this playthrough, you should have all the seeds up to this point. I'll be collecting every single seed in, in this playthrough. I'll get every dream as well. But, yeah, like I said, um... It's just, it's just too much to read, you know. I hope you guys understand that. It's just, it's just way too much. I'm actually looking up the dreams now to make sure I can get them all. I don't know if any of them are missable or not. Going killing men before they could kill you, yeah. <laughs> True. So, um, okay, there's thirty three dreams. In um, this game. So there's another one. Yeah, we can get... There's more we can get in the... Yeah, we can keep entering and re-entering the bar, or the tavern here, and we can get more. There's two more we can get here at the bar, at the tavern, whatever. And then there's um, another one we can get in the Monorella Central Station. Oh, I was wondering why the sound stopped. That was weird. Yeah, so the soldier saved Kaim even though Kaim's immortal and he can't die. So, kind of a waste, right? Well, 
The guy didn't know that, obviously. Still a hero nonetheless, right? It'll be a while before I'm back home, though. Wonder how everyone's doing. Alright, we need to leave the tavern at this point and then re-enter. Uh, hold on. I think upstairs is where the next one is. Yep, here we go. I used to work as a jail warden. It was so strange to see the prisoners start riots over and over again. All I did was extend their sentences, you know. I have no idea why they kept on acting that way, really. Captive. In the mind of a captive, okay. I have been... I have been arrested a couple times in my life. I'm not going to go into details about why. But, uh, yes I have. Be, being young and stupid. Now I'm older and no better. So Khan was locked up at one point. Dang, so you're basically in solitary confinement at that point. They can't see other prisoners. What do they call it? Uh, ICU? Or whatever? Or... I don't know. I don't know what it's called. I think ICU is like a hospital thing. I don't know. Ice or whatever? I don't. I don't know. I just know it's called solitary confinement. Um, basically, you're by yourself in, in a cell. And there's no bars. Instead, there's uh, walls. On both sides. And a door. With no bars either. It's just a, literally a door. I'm pretty sure no TV is as well in those rooms. Anyway, those, like, solitary places that makes people go insane. 
Not that I would know anything about it because I've never been in solitary confinement, but... I just saw videos. So you're the immortal who survived the Highlands of Wool incident. Are you? Okay, I already talked to that dude. What the hell? Okay, yeah, same thing. Alright. Alright, so now what we need to do is leave and come back again for a third time. And we'll be able to unlock another dream. Right here. Stupid damn magic engines. I think they can just up and take my damn job away from me. Come on, Dad. Gotta get you home already. Yeah, it sounds like my dad. Uh... So it's the mom abandoning the <laughs> father, the boy and his father. Wow. It's the opposite. The roles have been reversed. Uh, she did arrive a little bit of her savings. That's what she get for, gets for leaving.
All right, there we go. I'm done. I gotta get you home already. Stupid damn magic engines think they can up and take my damn job away. All right. So that's all the dreams I think we can get for now. Actually, there's one in the central monorail. Don't know if we can go over there, though. We will be going that way later, though, but... Have you heard about this? A connection of mine. The council told me Councilman Gregor has been combined to his private estate. Yep. Could it be true? So the soldier is in front of his house and protecting him. Rather keeping him, keeping him in there. Yep, we already knew about that. I'll go ahead and go unlock the dream now. If we can get over there. That way I don't have to worry about it later. But I don't know if it'll even let us. We'll see. Oh, it's right here. Or maybe... It's down here, maybe. Central Station, yeah. So it should be here. Yep, right here it is. So this is the final dream we can get for now. You know what? My dad works in a magic production factory. He's the boss of the whole place. I'm not the boss of anything, really. I'm glad she's proud of me, though. Everything I do, I do for her. Dream has been revealed. Oh crap, I skipped the title of it. But I think this is Little Liars or something like that. Ooh, killed herself. That's not good. I definitely don't want to do that. Under any cir under no circumstances should you ever do that. I feel like every time suicide's mentioned in a game, I need to actually bring that up. Yeah, so basically it's all about lying and everything. Our lives are born of sor sorrow.
Yeah, so Com's taking the blame for it. I don't usually lie. I try not to lie anymore. I used to lie in the past, but I don't do that anymore. You know what, my dad work. Okay, I already read that. I'm not the boss of anything, really. But she's proud of me, though. Everything I do, I do for her. Okay. I think it's about time to end the episode here. In the next episode, we will head to Gengora's Mansion because we've done everything we can do at this point. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.